Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we're continuing on with our Grombrindle campaign. And uh, I totally forgotten where we were. We've got a big battle on our hands, don't we? Well, oh dearie me, a lot of black orcs, squigs, plenty of rock lobbers. Yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be rough. It's gonna be rough, but well, we we can't really avoid it because uh, we got to keep Stotchel going, don't we? Got to keep Stotchel going with his army of rangers. He just got this army back. It's a real pity, but oh well. All right, so, so rock lobbers are over here with almost no squigs, huh? And he's nearly dead. So this should be quite easy to kill. Uh, long beards, though. I want you guys to all hide <laughs> down here. That's right. I want you all to be down on the ground. Good boys. And miners can go up here. Uh, you go up there. You go up there. Good boys. Uh, you can keep that busy. Yeah, range of great weapons I keep low as well. Uh, hmm. Yeah. That'll about do it. And where are you at? Oh, you're over there. Okay. You can hold that. Why not? Now, what have these guys got? Are they the biggins? Yeah, they're biggins. Biggins come over here. That could be a problem. But, I think the rangers should probably be able to do some work here. It's such a shame you can't put them on here. Can you imagine being able to put them on these buildings? It'd be so cool to be firing from, like, one lot of walls to another kind of thing. It'd be amazing. Anyway, uh, right. We've got Ekron Miners. So, yeah, let's get a couple of these. Put them over here. Okay, let's angle them. A bit. Got a long beards. Got more miners. I guess you can go up here. Uh, yeah, quarrelers. Where are you lot? Oh, are you all over there? Yeah, that could work. That could work. Try and whittle them down. The rock lobbers will be busy shooting at the quarrelers. Uh, alright. Do that, you guys. Um, yep. You can go back here. I'm worried about the other rock lobbers coming in as well. Oh, and is that all the black orcs on this side? Well, there's one unit, and there's more coming as reinforcements, so... Eh, we'll have to... We'll have to move people about, you know, when appropriate. So, cannon and the grudge thrower. Hmm. Shoot whatever you think you can hit. I think that's the way we're going to do this. And you guys, try and take out the rock lobbers if you could. Great. That'll have to do. I feel like we could just charge out here, you know. Should we give it a go? Let's give it a go. Let's let's actually give it a go, because these guys I don't think are much of a threat. So we're gonna we're gonna march out and see what happens. Uh, hidden units are revealed. That's not too too bad. That's okay. Uh, Rangers with great weapons shoot should do some good work to the Black Orcs. So that's good. Let's get these guys set up. And those rangers. A lot of chevrons on these rangers, i got to say. So again, whittled down. Trolls will be coming in, but I don't like their chances, perf to be perfectly honest. And, yeah, that's quite alright. Okay, you go over there. You go over there. Let's take them down. And I guess you guys can just go for the orc war boss instead. No, nope. nope. He's coming for us. He's coming for us. <laughs> Cheeky sod. Alright, take him out. Take him out, boys. You keep running. Okay. You know what? This is going a little bit too well for our enemies here. Come on. Take him down. Okay. Go over there. You go over there. Archers are firing. They can start running. Okay. Oops. Okay, move over there. Come on. Come on, boys. Okay, how are things looking? Fine. Fine. Okay, cool. And I think now we can move these guys over here. 
No, no, both of you. Okay, you guys start moving. And... So yeah, let's get everyone on uh, guard mode. Okay. How are you lot doing? Pretty well. Pretty well. And let's do even better. Mark of Ulthar. Brilliant. So those Black Hawks struggling, that's for sure. And those ones are struggling a bit too. But there's a lot more on their way. A lot more. Awful lot more. This is going great though. Oh, really? Okay, not that great. Okay, good. You guys actually stop shooting. I'm going to need you. I'm going to need you. Okay, good. Uh, over this side, yeah, we're struggling a bit, but we're we're getting rid of the uh, we're getting rid of the rock lobber crews, so that'll do. <laughs> nice. All right, you try and get back inside. Now back over this way. Looks like they are on their way up. Yep, here they come. Okay, let's put you back on fire, will. And, oh, nasty skulkers are coming too. Ugh. God, and they're just getting shot to pieces. Which is very sad. And, oh, I hadn't even realised they'd gone in here. Fine. That'll do then. That'll do. You guys still having fun? That's what I like to see. Goblin Big Boss. Here's some work. And here's some more Black Orcs. Here's some more Black Orcs. But they are getting taken out. Quarrelers. Hmm. I think you need to turn around. Come on, lads. Oh, hang on. Are they going to try and get back online? I think they might, you know. That won't do. Okay. That ought to do it. Over on this side. A lot of Black Orcs, and these guys are out of ammo, so they're going to have to just charge in like lunatics. And I don't like when I have to charge in like a lunatic. That's when things tend to go a bit wrong. But yeah, you guys can run up there, try and deal with those Black Orcs. And you guys can keep running over this way. These Black Orcs are getting dealt with, so we've still got long beards spare. Plenty of shots coming in from Wurzag over here. Poor Miners. Alright, you better get down. So they are getting whittled down, but it's taking a little longer than I'd like. And I don't really like these guys being in melee trying to fight them. It's not it's not a good look. Can use uh, Mark of Ulthar though. We'll lower their armor as well, which will help a little bit. Okay, that's good news. Oh god, there's more of them coming. There's more of them coming. That's a problem. That's a problem. How long beards will help though? And you lot can get in that way as well. And, okay, those Night Goblin Archers are doing a little bit too well here. I'm not a fan of that. Also, how are you guys there? How are you so comfortable? That's not okay. Yeah, go get him. Go get him. And these guys still firing away, which is nice. Uh, what it could do... Yeah, Grudge Thrower. Come on. Shoot these guys. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe not. Alright, just line up. Shoot whatever you like. There's Wozak. Good. Good. Uh, these long beards can get stuck in as well. Range of great weapons can actually fall back while I push these guys in. Alright, all these guys kind of need to fall back, don't they? Let's fall all them back. And I'll just throw those rangers to their deaths. Actually, they got some chevrons. I won't, I won't do that just yet. Don't like them getting shot at either, though. Hmm. Now you try and move down there. You move over there. Okay, good. Good. The tanks of damage, although that could hurt. Ugh, hate this guy. We'll deal with him, though. We'll deal with him. We'll deal with him. Alright, you guys still going? Seems like it. Don't like these savage orcs still going, though. They should be getting shot. And there we go. That's more like it. Yeah, keep on him. Good. 
Uh, oh, there's more coming, is there? Yep, just fighting these tiny amount of blasting charges. Oh, dear. Oh, dearie me. Yeah, you guys need to just run for it. Okay. You guys turn and... Oh, that's army losses. Oh, all right then. I guess we're able to hold out long enough. Killed enough of their uh, expensive units. So that's good. So now, because we've defeated Wurzag, um, his fightiness should go down. That might disband the war because there is also a war stood outside that didn't join the fight, uh, which is a big deal. That is definitely a big deal. You know what? I'm going to hit fast forward. <laughs> Just punish these guys for turning up a little bit more. Good. That'll do. Excellent. Oh, I did lose one unit of miners. But, uh, yeah, some guys did pretty well there, you know. Pretty happy with that. Did a good job. Well played, boys. Our uh, grudge throw did a lot better than I thought it did. And a the cannon. They were putting some good work in. Good job, lads. Good job. Chevron's all round. Though it's a garrison, so I'm not sure they'll keep those. But, uh, yeah, one could dream. Uh, release captives... I mean, probably, we probably could, actually. Because, look, Black Orcs, two of them completely wiped out. Yeah, three units completely wiped out. So it's just the cheaper stuff that we can fight off with miners and rangers and things. No problem. So, yeah, I think we can afford to just release the captives for the extra money. Depends what this guy is going to do, though. Depends what this war is going to do. And so, did we get Lightning Strike with this guy yet? Uh, oh, it doesn't matter. He's, he's off. I was going to say, we might be able to Lightning Strike him. And now he's attacking. Of course he is. <laughs> These guys still holding on, but those armies do not look good. But it does seem like the last defenders are just blitzing through that whole area. So they might be safe from Clan Eshin now. Oh yeah, and here's Mash. That's the rebellion. The migration. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's just keep going with growth. That's great. And cheaper recruitment costs. Why the heck not? And, oh, we've got some physical resist. That's brilliant. More physical resistance for defeating Wurzag, the Great Green Prophet. Uh, when you take a swing at the Prophet, you smite Gork and Mork as well. Yeah, we do. Good job, lad. Good job. So he's got to level up. Uh, don't have Lightning Strike yet. One more turn and we can get it. So that's good. But, mm, that's bad. Okay, this chap. Let's get you. It's Brag the Wazbag. Oh, one more turn and you can join in, because this army, actually, pretty flimsy. Pretty flimsy. It's it's not a lot of um, armor piercing in there. So we should be able to fight them off. But if, if everyone else joins, it could still be a bit much, just given how much damage we've taken, you know? And that could be a problem still. But we'll see. Um, oh, brilliant. We removed a grudge. Okay, that's great news. We're down to two. We're down to two grudges. Ah, oh, lovely. What are the grudges? Crush the Uprising, which obviously we're going to do, and, uh... Oh, is it fight this guy? It is! <gasps> wow, we could actually we could actually settle all our grudges again. That's a good feeling. Also, you were going to head over here, weren't you, to help, but it's a bit late. Um, and I think Black Crag can defeat that army, so hopefully they'll attack me next turn and we can just polish them off with that garrison, but, uh... Right, now what then? Mount Silverspear. Yep, we're going to have to build that up again. And you need to get down here. Ugh. Hmm. What a hassle. Alright, so, uh, Karaza Karak, let's recruit another lord. I know. What am I thinking? I'm thinking I want to take advantage of the cheaper recruitment cost. We'll get this guy because he will also put up our research rate. And let's milk that cheaper recruitment cost. Wow, we get hammerers as well as iron breakers. I always forget about that. Um, hang on a minute. These guys are ludicrously cheap. What are our discounts? 25% and 10%. Okay, I'm very confused. Because that seems ridiculously cheap. Is the beta still running? I did have to validate files earlier. Because that seems way too cheap. <laughs> that seems like all kinds of discounts. To say that it's only 35% cheaper. Because that's usually, what, four grand or something ridiculous? Hang on, I'm checking. 
Okay, so yeah, I mean, I just checked. We are on it. That seems weird to me. That seems way cheaper than it's supposed to be. Uh, I'm not going to complain, though. But, like, that's just 520 for Iron Breakers. How are they that cheap? That's nothing. That's absolutely nothing. Uh, so, I mean, I've got to milk it, right? Got to. Got to. Because, yeah, that looks more like it. You know, the 2,500. How strange. How very strange. That is bizarre. Is it is it because of buildings? I mean, does that... Does something make them super... I have no idea. I really have no idea what's making them so cheap. That doesn't seem correct. But maybe it is. I've clearly missed something. Um, but oh well. It's probably something that came up at some point that I just haven't paid attention to. Um, I mean, that puts down recruitment costs by another 10%. But still, we'll see. And probably some, maybe some tech, or maybe this guy is equipped with something. But no, he wouldn't be. He's brand new. Not sure if there's an older one, but no, no, no idea. Very strange. I'm not going to knock it. That's ludicrous. It's absolutely ludicrous, and I love it. So, uh, yeah, Grombrindle, I think we will send down this way now. Though I do want him to get some replenishment. This is the problem. So, yeah, let's keep him in this stance. And how many turns is it? Three turns. Four turns for some. So, yeah. We'll be able to... Oh, no, the border's right here. Ah. Hmm. Not sure, then. Not sure. Maybe I shouldn't have moved him there. We'll see. We'll see. We can wing it. So, uh... Carrick Dron. I can upgrade the income building over there. Mount Gunbag can be upgraded. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this building. The uh, the guild marketplace. Because that will help trade faction-wide. And it'll help all income buildings over here. So let's do that. And get that other income building. Trinket maker. Lovely. And you don't have to be in that stance, you know. Good. Good lad. And actually, that's something that would be nice to do. I know global is super pricey. But getting some hammerers for Thorgrim would make a lot of sense. They are, they are the High King's bodyguard, basically. So... He should have a bunch of hammers. Hmm. Yeah, I'll work on that. It's going to be pricey, so, you know. There is that. I mean, these guys are pretty pricey, too. I mean, look at that. 348 per per unit. But they are very, very good. They're iron breakers, so, you know. Small price to pay. Right. Yeah, I think we just need to move on. I think we're just moving on. There's not much else to do. I mean, I could build income buildings here, but I don't want to build anything here until we get walls on it again, because I'm just fed up of losing it again and again. Oh, now where's Barak Varg going? You're still at war with Akendorf, so, you, you know, you've got to be careful here. Oh! Oh, it looks like he's going for... Going for the orcs down here. That's actually kind of nice that he's doing that. He's trying to help bail me out. Alright, so, under wall sleeps glare. Your warriors range deep into hostile lands, but all is not well. There are dark omens abroad, as if the shadow of some horned god was watching from the evil moon above. The army is fettered by more sleeps glare. I'm gonna risk it. I'll risk it. Risk it for a biscuit. So, um, you can pass on your troops, because, uh, we're no longer under siege. So that's good, isn't it? There you go, Logan. You're actually quite high level. He should probably have an army, shouldn't he? Uh, okay, so we can't pass them all along. So, we need to get rid of someone. I guess we'll get rid of the basic miners. That's probably probably the way to do it, right? Cool. Ha-ha! <laughs> Good lad. Uh, should we give him Grimnir's heirs so he can make his uh, iron breakers better if he gets some more? Hmm. That might be fun. We'll go Mason... Make some buildings cheaper. It's just very small bonuses there, so I don't think it's worthwhile. Just have him loitering around. Um, yeah, I might give him Grimnir's heirs. I would like all of my armies to have, like, you know, some hammerers or some iron breakers. Not many. They are expensive. I mean, I think this is perfect, or it's four. Uh, I think four is a really good amount of iron breakers, because that is enough to just have an insanely solid... Uh, line in the front that is almost impossible to crack. 
and then the rest is just yeah more <laughs> just more stuff and that's great oh also someone did point out that it would be quite cool to get some gyrocopters in this army as well and uh yeah we could do they don't have vanguard though which is weird but um we could get it anyway because it'd be nice and quick getting to the front line it would mix up this army a little bit because yeah that's it. i find it really odd they don't have vanguard i mean i don't think they did in tabletop um, but it's it's the sort of unit they'd expect to because they were built to be like messengers and scouts in the underway. So you'd assume that they would be, you know, able to get into the battle um, earlier. You'd think they'd be scouting it, right? You'd think they'd be actually ahead of everyone. But nope. Nope, apparently not. So we haven't recruited heroes yet, so we need to do that. Thanes, we can get nice high level, which is lovely. Ooh, extra research rate and construction cost down for buildings. I like that a lot. I like that an awful lot. So let's build him here. And let's start leveling him up. Uh, obviously need to go training. And then none of these really matter. Because they just don't. I'm going to have him in an army. So let's go with uh, Blade Master. And a bunch of extra melee defense. I want to be able to fight forever. Brilliant. So now... I kind of want him in this army, but he can't vanguard unless I give him some new toys. But I could give him some new toys, couldn't I? Just get rid of those miners. Uh, get rid of these two. Hmm. Tempting. Uh, so we can't afford to get a runesmith just yet, but we can get another Thane. We can actually get a few runesmiths, so we can just train one every turn and send them somewhere, which would be very nice. be very nice indeed to be able to do that. So, yep, you start heading down this way. Good lad. I don't know where you're going to go, Logan Stormbreaker. You might just loiter here for a second, um, to be honest. Might just loiter here. And you can't reach anyone because the Ironbreakers have, have outstayed their welcome. So I guess we'll loiter here and we can hop over here in a minute. Um, so that's fine. And yeah, you loiter there too. Cool. <laughs> I'd rather eat a squig. Uh, well... I might make him. I might make you eat a squig, so careful what you wish for. And hello there, Deathmaster Snitch, with your stupid army again. Ugh. Bunch of gutter runners, too. Bunch of gutter runners. Oh, also, someone did mention in the comments. Um, I thought I'd clarify um, that, yeah, gutter runners and uh, night runners, they have armor piercing with Clan Eshin, okay? And that does apply to the Slingers as well, okay? Um, he wasn't sure in the comments. He said, I'm not sure he applies to Snake. It does. <laughs> it does. It's all Gutter Runner and Night Runner units. So, yeah. You can see there. You can see here. Missile damage with the armor piercing symbol. So, the armor piercing symbol, by the way, it just means that more than half of the um, damage is armor piercing for uh, any, any projectile. Well, any attack. If it's got that armor piercing symbol next to weapon strength, you know that weapon strength is armor piercing. Sometimes you could have an armor piercing melee weapon and a non AP. Um, you know, missile attack or vice versa. So, you know, but still. With Clan Eshin, they all have huge bonus armor piercing. So, as a dwarf, you don't want to be fighting any of them. You really don't. And, oh, I would like to get marble, though. No, not yet. Not yet. We'll do it later. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be a while before he gets anything. What I might do, what I might do here is have... This guy train some hammerers as well next turn. And then he can just transport all eight units up here. And we can basically swap all these guys out. And Well, four and four. So we can swap out four of these for hammerers. And then the last four will be iron breakers. I might actually just get rid of all of the dwarf warriors if that's the case. Because just having a couple of dwarf warriors seems a bit weird to me. But, yeah. So we'll do that. And that should be able to fight off chaos. Lovely. Because hammerers, that armor piercing is massive, and the melee defense on the uh, iron breakers is just so high that they just refuse to go. So they'll be able to kill marauders all day, and they'll be able to hold um, sort of chosen and things. Unless it's chosen with great weapons, in which case, yeah, yeah, we're still going to want to get the hammerers in there and start getting some kills. Um, artillery and guns are the best way to get rid of them, but still, 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 nice to have some damaging infantry. It's a very rare thing for a dwarf. So, let's keep moving. And Snitch is in March stance, of course, because he never sits still for a minute. Oh, and he's gone straight to Crookboat Mountain. I, I, I really want him to get better armies. 
I know, that's the weirdest thing to wish for, but if he didn't just have a full stack of almost entirely slaves, he would try and attack me, and I'd be able to fight him, and he wouldn't be going for my settlements. So, you know, there is that. Um, he's more of a pain that he doesn't want to fight. If he wanted to fight, I could deal with it. Um, hello, a defensive alliance. Um, could do. Could do, I guess. Uh, are you at war with the vampire counts currently? No, you're not at war with Sylvania, so I don't want to be in a defensive alliance because these guys will probably attack you again in a second. Uh, although that would liven things up a heck of a lot because I don't know how I would deal with these guys um, on another flank. So, yeah, all right. It'll be fun. I've got to gotta come to the aid of the humans, you know? Like, we're, we're firm friends, firm allies. You know, 2,500 years allies. like that. We can't say no. Oh, thank you, Sundrim. Yeah, you chase him down. Cheers, mate. So, still no sign of chaos. So, I don't know what their game is. I really don't. Um, but, this should be a good game. Let's hop over here and um, sally forth against these boys. Should be able to kill them pretty easily. I'm amazed that that is the balance of power. I thought it would be, like, here. You know? I thought it would be, like, <laughs> 9 to 1. Kind of odds there, but nope, nope, a little lower than that, which is bizarre considering the army we've got. Uh, I think I'll just auto resolve this. Not much point fighting it really, although that is a pretty handsome gun line that would be nice. Would be nice to see that in action. Ooh, now I'm tempted. Yeah, let's fight it. All right, so I got my quarrelers. Quarrelers. I got me guns. Lovely. And now you... Where is their... Oh, there's their uh, rock lobber. Okay. Everybody guard mode. And... Miners. Chill over there. Um, let's mix them up a bit. You guys spread out. And uh, you just sort of block that in there a bit. That'll do. Okay, good. Good stuff. Um, tell you what. Leaves a space for the guns to shoot between them. Alright, you guys. Go fight things. Good lads. And yes, I am just putting him in the group and telling him to attack. Because what more do I need to do, really? I can start peeling things off if and when I need to. Ah, oh, poor thunders. Sorry. Long beards. Thanks for <laughs> thanks for correcting me. Thanks for correcting me. And they can start shooting. Ooh, you poor dear. You know what? You pull back. Okay, you guys start lining up over there. Oh, not that much. Oh, you gonna be able to shoot them there? Are you gonna are you gonna do anything to to do that? No, you know nothing apparently. All right, you guys are so broken right now. What is your problem? Oh my god, the pathfinding, guys. The pathfinding sometimes is just it gets so screwy sometimes. It's the weirdest thing. All right, guys. You do you. <laughs> you do you. Will do. Quarrelers. Yeah, they got taken out. Well, of course they did. Okay, you start pushing up. You head over there. You start working your way in. You guys work your way in. And yeah, you guys just shoot whatever. You shoot whatever you like. Love it. I only get boys. And that's still going. That's still going. Alright, what are you doing? Not a lot. Do you want to turn over there? Start shooting them or something. Uh, you shoot them. Come on, guys. Keep. Keep on moving. I'm moving and grooving. Okay, good. 
Yeah, keep keep breaking iron. Proud of you. Oh, oh, that's Forest Goblin Spider Riders. Okay, maybe let's get rid of them. Cool. Good job, lads. And yeah, you keep whittling them down. It's good news. And are you doing anything? Really not, huh? Right now they're shooting. Jesus. Okay, keep going. And I mean, these miners are holding this area, which is very surprising. Okay. You're not doing much either. Come on, boys. Shoot the boys. Right. God, that is still going. I'm amazed that rock lobber is still going. It's the extra chevrons, I think. Keeping them in the fight. Okay. You guys head over there. You guys head over there. Start killing all their archers. Who are... Oh, not actually getting as many kills as I thought they were getting. But things seem to be going alright. Those night goblins are probably the scariest thing. They've been doing the best. They've been fighting those long beards for a long time and somehow still going. Sneaky stabbing, that's why. And I guess the archers have been shooting into them the whole time too. But, uh, yeah, they should go pretty quickly. Okay. Good job, guys. Good job. So it looks like we've liberated uh, Black Crag from the Greenskin Rebels. So that's good news. That's what I like to see. Uh, you can run back and kill that Great Shaman if you like. You know, if it's not too much bother. Good. And that is job done. The victory. Lovely. Decisive. Cool. Right, so, uh, yeah, barely lost a thing. Happy with that. Let's go with the extra cash. Always nice to get a bit of extra cash. And we can finish it off with Stotchel uh, next turn. Brilliant. All right, now what? We chase this pillock around, don't we? Uh, Crookback Mountain is, yeah, defended well enough. I think what we need to do is chase him down a bit, and then set up an ambush somewhere. Which is very frustrating to have to do that. But we're probably going to have to do that. If we had another army, this, that would be so much better for us. It would be a lot easier. But we don't yet. We do have Stotchel that can run over there, actually. Which would be pretty good. Stotchel joined in, but then yeah, you know what? Logan Stormbreaker. We could, we could suit and boot him. Get him some new toys. Speaking of... There we go. Uh, I'm only going to get two, actually. I'm only going to get two. But I'm going to get some long beards. Um, let's see. Normal or great weapons? Let's go normal because they're cheaper. I know it means less armor piercing. Oh, that isn't the fight against chaos, so actually... Crap. Let's do that, then. What I might do is get a couple of the iron breakers from, uh, from him with Logan. Yeah, I think three units of Iron Breakers each. Apart from this one, because want, I want him to have more, because the rest of his army is so flimsy. He can't have long beard supplementing it. It's all miners, isn't it? Because I want a vanguard with him. Cool. All right, we'll try something like that. And, of course, let's continue on with the recruitment drive. So, sadly, these guys aren't higher level, but it is what it is. Uh, extra research faction-wide, I really love. And also cheaper recruitment cost. Oh, good. Cloak of Velaya. So, uh, does the White Dwarf commune with the Ancestor Gods? This is the question oft asked by Longbeards at the fireside as they drink alongside, uh, sorry, drink long into the night. Some say, of course, whereas others believe he is an Ancestor God himself, and a few think he has no more influence in this area than any other pious Dawi. Whatever the case, there have been persistent tales throughout the ages that Velaya looks upon Grombrindle with fondness, and even some sagas proclaiming that they were lovers of the dawn of history. After all, it is her cloak which shrouds the lo uh, legendary dwarf warrior. And so it was that Grumbrindle received a vision from the goddess, a new rune to be sewn into his cloak with thread spun from the hair of dwarf maidens from the temple of Velea. In Everpeak, the rune will light the darkest reaches of the Karazankor and reveal a hidden evil to the white dwarf. Which is apparently over here. 
Grumbrindle described the rune he had seen in his dreams to the runesmith. The wise old dwarf had many centuries under his belt, but was shocked by the complexity and potential power of such a marking. Although this rune was of a layer's making, the runesmith could see her hand all over it. Uh, it nevertheless uses elements of her brother gods. To craft such a rune, additional knowledge would be needed. Firstly, from the runesmiths in the dwarf hold of Karak Kadrin, where Grimnir's influence is strongest. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, I mean, I should send this guy off to go do that. I probably should, shouldn't I? It's fine. He can head up towards um, Thorgrim. So, let's go... Yeah. Extra armor piercing. Let's go with that. Rune of Oath and Steel is kind of great and terrible at the same time. Because it's buffing something that they already have in spades. So, it makes very little difference um, to them, you know. It's not like giving war dancers a bunch of a bunch of extra armor, so suddenly they're armored infantry, you know. It's just, yeah. Yeah. And it's kind of pointless when you're fighting stuff with uh, armor-piercing damage as well. It's why in multiplayer it's just a pointless rune. Because anyone fighting dwarves will just bring nothing but armor-piercing. You know, anything else would be just a waste. So, anyway. Uh, so yes, you... God, it's going to take a long time to get there, isn't it? Okay, why aren't I seeing a... An accord bound by runic law. I don't I don't know where he's trying to get to. I don't Aye, see... It is time. Okay, trying to get up that way? Alright, cool. And for you, you can start heading down this way. Um, I would like him to get into Stotchel's army, but I will need to make him some new toys first. Um, so you head up that way, and let's get another thane, shall we? Not a lord. Or should I get another runesmith? All runesmiths would be nice. Poison attacks and ambush chance. Actually, that's great, ambush chance. Let's get Morik Whitebeard for Grombrindle. Let's get him, so we can help grab some of those guys. Uh, scouting might be nice, actually, but uh, not just yet. Let's go with... Ooh, I don't know. None of these are particularly useful. I just want the rune negation, really. Rune negation's dope. Um, and the rest, like, eh. Rune of Wrath and Ruin's great too, actually. Rune of Wrath and Ruin's a, a must-have. Um, God, let's go with... Do I start putting the cooldown on now, despite the fact that he has no runes? Is that worthwhile? Probably not. I think I'll forge fire, even though I don't need the armor piercing necessarily in Grand Brindle's army just yet, but uh, we'll give it a go. See, that's what I was expecting, right? The the path to be drawn out here. But it's just not getting drawn for him, and I don't know why. Really don't get it. It's very odd. He's doing it for him. Hope he hasn't bugged or something. Oh well. Uh, right. Yes, we're good. We're done. We are done with this turn. Let's move on. Oh, here's chaos. Oh dear. Oh dearie me. This could be a bit of a bit of a problem. Don't have a hammer is up here yet. Oh, brilliant. Wolfram Hertwig managed to get rid of one of the stacks. Good job, Wolfram. In that case, I'm less scared. I think I might send Thorgrim down here to try and help. And then Thorgrim will get killed, because I didn't need to do that. <laughs> And, oh, come on, just take Kemperbad. Just stop. Stop letting the vampire counts keep their territory. It's a bad idea. Oh, and off he goes. Eben, come on, man. Sundrum Redmain on his way back home. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I've got it from here. Oh, he's going to attack again. Of course he is. Okay. Empire in Flames. Interesting. The manlings of Sigmar came, uh, come pleading to us once again. They have witnessed our devastating flame weapons and beg that we share the secrets to this technology, as we once did with Black Powder. Uh, given the fact that we're in the midst of a chaos invasion, I think, yeah, right? That makes sense. I think we totally would. I think Thorgrim would. Not all dwarves would be happy with it, that's for sure. But, uh, I mean, not all dwarves are happy with... Even the dwarves using black powder, so... But yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I think Midland, they're going to need it. If they're going to fight off uh, Archeon. 
So let's do it. I don't think it really does anything. I think it's literally you just role playing as a dwarf there. But you know. Uh, Black Crag is besieged once more. Ready. Ready. Good. Let's auto resolve that. Bye, Mash. It is the Monster Mash. It's not the Monster Mash. It's the Green Skin Mash. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Ooh. More post battle loot. Tasty. Suits him. Um, Grimnir's heirs would be good too. And both of these would be good, you know? That helps Rangers out though. I think Rangers need the most help, because let's be honest, Ironbreakers already do the job brilliantly with their 77 melee defense and 125 armor. Yeah, their job is holding. And blimey can they hold. So, you move up, let Wurzag attack you. Because I can take him. It's going to be the same thing that happens last time, right? Another bunch of armies are going to come up and completely mess up Stotchel. And I'm going to be like, oh, oh, yeah, everyone's dead. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, you head up there. My anger burns bright. Yeah, it do. Uh, is just the one I'm going to take? I think it is. I think I want three and four up there. I think that's what I want. Uh, so, you. And you. You're almost there. Uh, Alright, you're on your way over there too. I don't... I didn't see where Eshin went. I did not see where they went. So that's a bother. Ambush success chance. Woefully inadequate. Great. Let's just set up there and hope for the best. Wonderful. Ruddy, wonderful. Right, Crookback Mountain. Let's get a bigger tavern. Need a bigger tavern. Because, uh, not the happiest place, is it? Not the happiest place in the world. Yeah, Crook <laughs> Crookback Mountain. Not Disneyland. Or Disney World. Disney World can't be the happiest place on Earth. That makes no sense. You know, the world is the best thing on the world. Nah, nah, that's silly. It's very silly. Right, uh, you need to head over here, mate. Oh, you're gonna go that way. I thought you might. I thought you might. Just don't get um don't get killed, please, by vampires. If that's uh you know, if it's all the same to you. Alright. Also here I do want to get this built. Cause that plus five percent uh campaign movement range for all armies is awesome. And I want it. I definitely want that. Uh and I will need to upgrade this as well if I'm gonna want gyrocopters. Although, first, need the engineer's workshop. What? Foundry and. Uh. What's the engineer's workshop? Runeforge, Grummer. Okay, where is. Where is this engineer's workshop? Toolmaker's Guild. It's not that. None of these. Oh, it's this ruddy thing, isn't it? Ugh. Okay, which means I'm going to have to get rid of something. I have to get rid of the tavern. Oh, I don't want to get rid of the tavern. But yeah, I'm going to need room there. going to need room down here. Gutted. Uh, ooh. Yeah, let's get more income buildings built, shall we? Uh, I'm going to build another one of these for a bit of extra income from here. Let's do that. Go with percentage income. Again, considering we've got uh, the gold mine and the bright stone mine. It's going to be quite helpful. So... You can head down there. There he is. Oh, a bunch of Chaos Knights. Oh, dear. And Chariots. Oh, God. Okay, this is a mistake. This was a mistake. I only regret this. Yep. Thorgrim's in a lot of trouble. Brilliant. Oh, there's Snitch. Are you kidding me? I hate this guy. Ah, good. The Empire are starting to... Take back some of the Vampire Count's lands. Good. Hey, buddy. What do you need? Join War Against Sylvania. I'm sorry, I can't do that. And... Oh, here we go. Perfect. Let's do it. Yeah. So, you know, some Black Orcs, but... Eh. It'll be fine. Okay, brilliant. So... Hang on.
How come you guys can't? Hang on. Oh, it's only the. It's only the regiments around, isn't it? Oh, well, that's very upsetting. Oh, what a silly thing for me to forget. It's just because basically you never vanguard these, do you? <laughs> just you rarely do vanguard dwarf armies. Um, so that is a pity. I am very upset because that would have been great. That would have been lovely, but nope. No, our dreams are ruined. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry, everyone. If you had dreams, they're gone now. That's okay. We'll shove them in later. Good. Excellent. Ow. Jerk. Okay, let's go for them. Alright. Alright, good stuff. You guys should definitely be attacking them, though. And, ooh, that's a problem. Come on. Mess them up. <laughs> this is wild. Uh, actually, yeah, you keep, keep shooting there. And here they come. Good. Alright. Very nice damage in there. Lovely. Love it. Alright, you go for those big ones. Yeah, you whittle them down. So, they're struggling, but that's okay. Because we're about to jump into the back of them. Alright, good stuff. Ooh, actually, yeah, they need to go, don't they? They really need to go. Okay. Start moving back. You start exploding them. <laughs> I love that. It's blowing them up. Blowing them to bits. Excellent. That's a problem, though. It's again, definitely a problem. Alright, get those big ones. And I guess you're going to waste your time shooting them, which is a bit of a pity. Uh, right, you lot. Take them out. Stop tools in a spot of bother. That's okay. Sort of. It's definitely not, is it? No. That's not. Alright, you go for them. Okay, you charge in. You lot go for them. Actually, you lot go for them, that's for sure. Okay. Black Horse getting whittled down. Yeah, looks like we've done it. Good stuff. Good stuff. Alright, are you going to blow them up? What's your deal? This is not doing it. What is your problem? I really don't know. You've been having very strangely lately. Right, do you want to attack them, maybe? Seems like he just doesn't know how to do anything. Very odd. Hey, Stotchel's doing well. <laughs> Ironbreakers are doing well. Lovely. Good stuff. And, oh, now you're doing it. Alright, cool. Weird. Don't know what their deal is. But it looks like we've taken out Wurzag. So, it's all good. As long as the uh, Blackhawks are really struggling, then I'm happy. And they are. Good. Job well done, Stotchel. Proud of you. Yeah, very embarrassed about the um, Ironbreaker Vanguard nonsense. But uh, still, it's good to have them. It's good to have them to fall back to. Bit of a pity. But yeah, it's the only the regiments right now. Very silly. Uh, like, I don't care what he does. I just want to see what he does. Okay, stop it with all these guys, okay? The suspense is killing me here. No, no, he doesn't need even more troops. Oh. Oh, okay. Bye, then. Cool. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> I want my garrison to help, for sure. Alright, so, a grudge too far. The enemy has wronged us, but writing this grudge will cost us deeply. Perhaps too deeply. Maybe, just this once, we should ignore the slight 
and focus on the grander objective. Uh, again, such a difficult thing. Such a difficult thing to work out here. God, who knows? Let's go with uh, let's go with honor is all this time. Uh, and also, there's going to be a rebellion over here, because of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? And, okay, I can, I can get here. Wait, what? What? Okay, I can't get there? What? Why can't you get there? It, it, you can, you can clearly get there. Alright, so that's great news, because it means that we can't actually get close enough to defend that place. So it's going to get taken again. So that's cool. Oh my god, I, I hate, I hate this rat. I hate this rat. He is so annoying. Just like, if he had a better army, he would just fight me. It's infuriating. Absolutely infuriating. My god, alright. Fine. So, you there. Yeah, you might as well go attack that as well. Yeah, go, go take him out. Finish him off. Good boy. Good job, Stotchel. Good job. Beards in, belts. <laughs> Beards in belts. Good attacker. He is a good attacker. He is. Level 15 now. Which is very surprising. Oh, no. Lightning strike. Ah. Silly. Oh, well. Uh, right. Let's just camp out there for a bit then, shall we? Barak the Wazbag. Hmm. Do I have a tavern? I don't think I need a tavern. People are pretty happy. People are fairly happy. People are happy enough. Alright. You keep heading over there. You go home. Thorgrim, get out of there. Run for your life. And let's upgrade that even... What was that about? Let's upgrade that, even though that cost us basically all of our money. Oh dear. Oh, just... Ugh. Hate this rat. Hate this rat with a passion. So yeah, I think Stotchel is going to have to come over here and help. So I'm going to have to stick someone else down here. Even though my income is basically all gone now. So, that's fun. That's fun, isn't it? You don't know what you're doing, do you? Oh, it's going to take you so many turns. Alright, we're going to have to do this manually. So we can, uh... We can use the underway to hop over a bunch of the mountains. It's a lot quicker. Say this area. like This is another like three turns that so we can just hop over. Uh, right now, yeah, let's let's upgrade the Toolmaker's Workshop. Let's just get our income a little higher. Me if you dare. Oh, I dare. I very dare. Well, we've spent all our money now. <laughs> um, so, I guess we won't get any more agents just yet, but that's okay. We're making progress. Soon, we'll have all of our armies kitted out with some agents. We have, like, three pretty good armies now, and another guy who's just milling about, yes. and someone else who's doing I deliveries. Which is all fine. You know, that's all fine by me. So, right. Imminent Rebellion. That is a pain as well. Because if I have to deal with him, I also have to come back and deal with them. More grudges, of course. Which is zero right now. I mean, zero grudges. It's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. It's been a while. For sure. Um, so, do I get rid of Valaya's Sorrow? Or Karak Eight Peaks, even? I mean, taking Karak Eight Peaks would be pretty good, wouldn't it? That'd be pretty wonderful. It's a good little spot. Strategic location, too. I forget what it does. I forget what it does. The building there. We'll have to wait and see. Alright, I think we've got no choice but to move on again and just hope this rat doesn't attack it. Ugh. Rats. Oh. Oh, right, yeah, and he was going to join the other army. My bad. Should have moved him, too. But that's okay. Oh, underway interception. Oh, thank God. Thank God for that. Okay. And then we are just sprinting down to his territory, okay? That's what we're doing. We're just going to run for his territory and just keep destroying stuff. Alright, that's what we're going to do. Because right now, we have two territories on the border of his one. If we take that one, that'll be the only thing that he's defending. Maybe. Possibly. But anyway, let's mess him up. Okay, wonderful. Right, you lot... Quarrelers! You... Line up. You loiter in the back. The rest of you, nope, not that many. You lot, get back there. Uh, you boys, I'll spread you guys out in a second. Good, and good, and good. 
Good. Excellent. All right, so they're coming for us, I think. Uh, or they're just repositioning. Hard to tell, but I think they might be heading towards us. Yeah, it looks like they're on the march. Yeah, it looks like they're on the march. Okay, let's just speed things up. Wow, they look very jittery. Sped up like that. <laughs> oh, right, yeah, of course. Bloody rats. Are you going to get out of here? Looks like it. Good. Good. Oh, God, you're not attacking them, are you? Because that would be a mistake. Oh, good. Good. Uh... I don't scave and slaves. It's like the warp fire throws. At least if you hit them, it damages something like that has the potential to be a, you know, a real bother, rather than just nothing in particular. Okay, definitely want some more iron drakes in his army. I can't wait. I'll swap out some of the quarrelers for him, but I might give the quarrelers somebody else because, I mean, look at them. Like these guys are so leveled up that I really should keep them. They've been doing a great job for us. Oh, and I am killing some of them. That's good news. Okay. Yeah, I guess you can join in too. God, these things are terrifying. What a horrible place. That little flag, clan moors up there. Oh, <laughs> bell up here. Not ideal. Not ideal. Have that kicking around. Quarrelers! Oh, that's a point. It's better on guard mode again. Also, uh, someone reminded me in the comments that uh, I can just use Control A just to select everybody. I rarely do that, but I should. I should. It's one of those things I know it exists. I just, I don't know. I just don't think to do it. Just don't think to do it really. Uh, right. Yeah, you keep going for them. That's cool. Okay, good stuff. Uh. Yeah, I guess you could turn around. Let's buff them. And yeah, you guys keep shooting them. You know what? It's pretty explode these guys, huh? And it's all Skaven slaves, so the Dwarf Warriors can kill them all in time, but may as well expedite things a bit. Okay. Good. How you doing? 90 kills, not bad. It'll do. And wow, you guys are actually uh, struggling a bit, huh? Oh, because you're actually fighting clan rats. Not just crap. <laughs> that, that tracks. That tracks. Still going? 170 kills now. Yeah, that follows. Oh, hello. Deathmaster Snicked. I forgot he was a, a person. He, he exists. Not that the Skaven exists. You know, that old joke. Uh, right. Keep killing, I guess. Keep killing. Yeah, they're very upset now. Good. Awesome. Alright, now you lot. Start shooting these boys, yeah? Ooh, this is probably going to be quite spicy. That was pretty spicy. 230 kills now. And they've all shattered. I wonder why. And yep, Snitch didn't even get... <laughs> 13 kills. 13 kills. Really? I love it. He got 13 kills. He probably thought at that point, I can't kill anymore. I have 13. It's just so appropriate for this game. So, decisive victory. Okay, excellent. So, barely lost anybody. Uh, if you look at the kills they got, most of their kills were from the, uh, like the clan rat summons, not from the army. Which is amazing. Also, all of these armor-piercing units, I managed to take them out you know, before they could do anything. And that's the beauty of having a lot of quarrelers when you're fighting against clan Eshin. They are just so good in this situation, you know? They are the cheapest unit ever. They are an absolute bargain, but they do take out the biggest threat that Clan Eshin can throw at you. It's amazing. Uh, just so cost effective. So cost effective. So, let's have a look. Uh, release captives. Okay, Rose of Chaos are on their way up. Ah, This is going to be nightmarishly difficult, I think. Hello, Valmir Gorsa. Really? Border Princes actually want to be allies now. How great is that? Like, they, they they know what they did. And they've accepted they deserve it. If it means that we'll help them out. Which uh, is awesome. I love it. I love it. 
Good RP. Good RP there, Valmir. Good RP. So, uh, why? Why are you RPing with me? What, what have you done? Uh, what with chaos and green skins and everything? Yeah, I guess that's reason enough, isn't it? Should we get a defensive alliance? Hmm. I feel like some of the other dwarves may attack him. But, if that's the case, I'm beholden to help him because of the agreement. So if we have to fight dwarves, so be it. And Barakvar expanding. Looks like they can take stone mine tower. Brilliant. Good for them. So yeah, Greenskin's definitely struggling now. They're being attacked from the south. From old, um... Uh, uh, Krokgar. So that's pretty great. It's pretty damn good. Alright, so. Rebellion in Wolflands. Because, of course... I uh, was hoping to just run down here immediately, but I do guess I do have to deal with that first, don't I? Ugh. Don't like it. Alright, let's get Dwarf Keep to max level. So, uh, I can put the best garrison on it, and... Yeah, you can get all the way to Crookback Mountain, so we'll deal with them, and then you can start running down this way, get to Mount Greyhag. Good. So, Undervalia's disappointed glare in fighting amongst the Darwi has led to an insurgency here. Yeah. Yeah, that's how it do. That's how it do. Alright, you there. Good. Good. Put him to good use. Ah, oh, four more turns. I don't think we're going to get Garrison upgraded, which is a real pity. Because getting some Iron Drakes and an Organ Gun and some Iron Breakers, my word. That's a heck of a Garrison, that. That's a hell of a Garrison. I love it. But we probably won't be able to get it in time. To have to fight all of these boys. Ugh. What are you? Death. It's not too, too bad, actually. Hang on. The other guy. There we go. And what are you? Metal. Only only with uh, Searing Doom, though. So that's not too, too bad. That's not too bad. Okay. If it was fire, Piercing Bolts does some really good armor piercing these days. Um, and I would not like to be facing that. But luckily, they seem low level as well. So we might be all right. Um, okay. Once these guys are up there, I'm going to be a lot more confident because this is ludicrous. I mean, look at that. Almost 3,000 just for this army. Yeah, that explains why my income is what it is. So, brilliant. Uh, oh, also you exist. Maybe I should go for Karak 8 Peaks. I think I might just loiter here for a second, though. And uh, let's get rid of one of these miners, even though they're, you know, nice high level. Let's get rid of them. And I think I'm even going to throw... Yeah, I think I'm going to throw both of these guys in his army. Just because they're here already, you know, the Runesmith and the Thane. But it will mean buying them some new toys, and I want to remember to do that now. So, the Forge. What was it again? Was it armor? Uh, yeah, because it wasn't the Prospector's pickaxe, was it? Uh. <laughs> Frostbite attacks would be pretty cool. Perfect Vigor. Ooh, that's tasty. Yeah, some good stuff we can get these days. And also, Bones versus Infantry is pretty wonderful. Like, that would really improve the offensive abilities of, like, my runesmith hanging out at the front line, you know? So I am tempted. And to keep his armor up, the perfect vigor. So let's do that. Because it looks like... It's talismans, isn't it? Yeah. Miner's lantern. So let's get a couple of these. Okay, good. Good. And then, I don't know what else we got. Stork would be pretty great. Um, hmm. That's quite handy. Extra accuracy. Kind of like that. We need psychology, liquid fortification. We don't have the clay yet. Ah, unbreakable, I just can't stand. I hate unbreakable. Do not like it. Uh, right, yeah, let's go with the, uh, let's go with the weapons then. Let's go with those weapons. Oh, the Prospector's Pickaxe is pretty great with the Sun Drink attacks. I do really like that. It really helps your rangers put in extra work against armored targets. But... Actually, there's bones versus large bones versus infantry. We'll give the Thane the Dragon Slayer's Axe. And we'll give the um, Runesmith the Iron Warden's Hammer. I think that'll make them both incredibly capable. And uh, slightly unique, you know? They'll both be unique, which I really like. So let's do that. Because I need to call it an episode ages ago. But I want to make sure I do this before I forget. So. Let's get them equipped. Chartered item. Nope. Talisman. That's it. Talisman. Miner's Lantern. And for your armor. Uh, you're the Thane. So you can have the Dragon Slayer's Axe. Also have a 
dwarf and tattooist. Why not? <laughs> Good. And for the runesmith. Yeah, I summon you. Uh, yep, mine is lantern. And Iron Warden's hammer. Love it. Love it. Because, yeah, he's more of a support character, so it makes sense for him to be anti-infantry. Because if he's sat in the front line, fighting other stuff in the front line, I like that. Whereas the Thane, I can have him fighting lords and heroes and stuff more often. That's going to be his job, you know? So the anti-large makes more sense. And <laughs> having them both vanguard as well is... It's pretty wild. It's pretty wild. Come on. Get in there, mate. Good lad. Sweet. Oh, hang on. We were down a unit anyway. I didn't have to get rid of them all. Aw, oh, that's awkward. <laughs> Alright, another unit in mines with blasting charges. It's going to take a couple of turns to replenish this stuff anyway, so... I'll do it, even if it's a little more expensive. It'll help kind of complete our set. So, uh, let's do that. So, guys, that is going to be where I love you and leave you. So, let's go say hi to this rebellion. Guys, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.